Welcome to ViewTheRace.com. This is the Wallace Sands Half Marathon from Wallace Sands State Park in Rye, New Hampshire. This beautiful race course starts at the State Park and heads south on Route 1A. The first almost four miles of this course are on Route 1A which is very flat and very scenic. You know, some beautiful views of the ocean intermittently on the left-hand side. This is quite a beautiful course. This flat and fast start to the course will allow you to settle into a nice pace. As you pass mile one, look to the left. Beautiful views of the ocean. And gorgeous homes on your right hand side. Just after mile run, one, the road goes slightly down. But again, for the most part, this road is flat until we start heading inland. As with any ocean course, the wind can be a major factor on this course. Approximately six miles of this course are on Route 1A, and the wind can really hold you back if it's, if it's in your face. Hopefully it'll be at your back, or it'll be a calm day, so the wind will not be a major factor. Most of Route 1A is very exposed to the wind with very little tree coverage and big areas where there's no homes at all to block the wind. Passing Rye Harbor on the left. Again, the road's very flat. This is a very fast section of the course. There are some rolling hills on this course and one short but decent hill. So you may want to be a little conservative through this flat and fast stretch. You wanna make sure you don't overcook your legs and run too fast at the beginning of this course. And you wanna save your legs for the rolling hills in the middle of the course. As we head towards mile four, we're gonna take a right on Perkins Street for the first turn of the course. Now, as we head inland, there'll be a slight incline to the road, but not too bad. Take a left and stay on Perkins. As we move away from the ocean, we're gonna go through a lot of beautiful neighborhoods. Nice homes and beautiful roads to run on. This intersection here, make sure you stay to the left. Again, just some slight rolling hills through this section.
Now the road actually starts to tilt down. And this is heading into the fastest part of the course, really. Route 1A is flat, but this section is going to be slightly downhill. And then you're going to have a nice downhill before you hit the toughest uphill on the course. And the cemetery is going to be on your right hand side as you pass through mile six. Got a nice downhill and then a flat section before you hit this short but tough uphill. Very short. If you're having a bad day, you're going to feel it. If you're not having a bad day, you're probably just going to roll right over it. Now the road tends to tilt downward here. This is a very fast section of the course. You're going to bear to the right at this fork, so stay to the right side of the road. Washington Road's a beautiful road to run on, beautiful neighborhoods. Should be able to make up some time through this section. Really fast part of the course through here. Now we're going to take a left on Brackett Road and leave Washington Road. Brackett Road is a little bit more rolling than what we've seen so far on the course. And there's also some st stretches of rough road on Brackett, on Brackett Road. So just be aware of that. It's road's a little beat up and the hills are a little tougher on this road, but not too bad. We're going to be following Brackett Road right to 1A. So there's a couple of tight turns and forks in the road that we got to make sure we stay on Brackett Road, which won't be a problem for race day, but if you do it beforehand, you just want to be aware of what road you're on and stay on Brackett. Tight corner here, you're going to stay to the right. And you're going to stay to the left at this fork. And then at the stop sign, you're going to continue left. And this is still Bracket Road. Again, Bracket Road goes right to Route 1A. Again, just small rolling hills through this section. As we come close to Route 1A, the skyline is going to open up a little bit. We're going to go over a small little bridge over the water. And stay to the right side of the road as you're going to be taking a right onto Route 1A or Pioneer Road. Now 
Now, as I said on the first four miles, if it's a windy day, you're going to start feeling the wind again because you've left the wooded area of Brackett Road. So hopefully the wind will not be in your face because you're very exposed for the next two miles to the finish. Just a beautiful area to run in. State park or ocean on your left and beautiful marsh areas on the right. As we break through this little wooded section, you're gonna have some views of the ocean on the left when you can see between the dunes. Just beautiful views to the left. As you near the finish and come around that final bend, it's probably one of the most beautiful views you can see in a road race. As you come around the corner, you'll be able to see the finish line or the finish location at Wallace Sand State Park. And ocean on your left, nice little downhill, curve to the road, you're going to actually absolutely be flying through this section, heading to the finish. Just a beautiful ending to a race. Thank you for viewing the race at viewtherace.com.